machen. Mommy, Nikki looks beautiful. Nikki, your number's coming up. Are you ready? Girls, go ahead. Just need to tie this pretty ribbon on your wrist. Where is he? Samuel's out of Nash. Receptionist? Gee, I really wanted to talk to the head guy. Len, what's up? I'm on a run. So run. I'll catch you on the car phone. Give me two minutes, okay? They want to put three consultants on the museum project? Then that's ridiculous. We can't shut them out, Mark. OK. One consultant, but not three. What if they don't see it that way? Tell them to find a new architect. Where's everybody going? Too late. I missed everything. Come on. Already? You promised you'd come. Nikki, I have to work. I'll make the next one. You won't. Work is always more important. Hey, it's not that bad. But you've never come. You've never seen me dance. There's no need to cry. 
I know you feel bad, honey. We'll talk about it at home, okay? You go get your bag. Take your sister. Put yourself in her shoes, Mook. All the other daddies work, and all the other daddies made it. I wanted to come. It's, it's not like as if I have a choice once this project's on. She's 11 years old. She needs your attention. You're never home anymore. Chris, you know how important this job is. It's a major boost for the firm. It's, it's a major expansion for us. I can't screw up now. I, you know, I can't let them down. What good do I do this for? It's for you guys. When it's over, I'll, you know, we'll be able to spend more time together. Are you even sorry you missed her dance? Of course I'm sorry. Then tell her, Mark. Tell her she's great and you love her and you really feel bad you blew it. I didn't blow it. I missed a dance recital. It's not the end of the world. I'll make it up to her. You talk to her for me, will you? She listens to you. No. You do it yourself. Nikki, want to ride with me? Nikki, I'm sorry. You were terrific tonight. Why is Daddy mad at me? He isn't. Thought I did something wrong. Does Daddy love me? Your father loves you very much. It's just hard for him to talk about. Why? I guess he thinks you already know. He's got an important job, and it keeps him very busy. And sometimes he just forgets to say it. I just wanted him to be proud of me. I don't want to dance anymore. Mr. Samuels. How's 
my daughter. Can you come with me, please? Wait a minute. Is she going to be all right? The doctor needs to talk to you personally. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, oh. Hey, there you are. What are you guys doing in here? I miss her. We all do, honey. Can you go wind it up again, Daddy? I think that's enough for now, sweetheart. Please? The music is not going to bring Nikki back. She knows that, Mark. She knows that. She just wants to hear the music. We remember Nikki the way she was. She'll never really be gone, will she? Part of her will always be alive inside of us. Because we love her so much. Right? Hey, why don't we go to the park? We haven't fed those squirrels in such a long time. They're saying, where's Caitlin? Maybe Daddy will come with us. Why not? Please, Daddy. Maybe later. Honey, why don't you go change into your sneakers? Do I have to? Yes. Why? Just do it, please. Mark, I think we need to be together. She needs both of us. And besides, you're alone too much. I need to sort this out, too. But you're shutting us out. I'm not. You are. We make you think of Nikki, don't we? No, that's wrong. Hey, ready? You're pretty cool. Now, you girls have a nice time. Bye-bye, Daddy. Bye. You know where we'll be.
How's he look? Same old Mark. Same old Mark. You don't have kids. I know what he's going through. He seems okay. Now then. They've agreed to add just one more consultant. Only five total? How can we survive? <laughs> just barely. But we've got to get through the planning commission hearings, and things are going to get busy. I'll be here to keep my end up. Okay, Mark. If that's how you want it. Yeah, that's how. How else would I want it? If you need more time, to, you know, more time off. Shannon and I can cover for you. Let me clear the air on this just once and for all. The last few weeks have been hell, pure hell. But I have to accept what happened to my family. We're not the first to suffer a loss, and we won't be the last. I want to move forward, fast. I don't want to look back. I want to work. I've got to work, keep busy. Great. Now, maritime project. They wanted it for September 1. Why not August 1? Then we can all take a vacation. Where's some more work, knowing you? I've got some sketches right here. Mark. You okay? Yeah, sure. Chris? Here. I miss her so much. When you came in just now, I thought you were her. I keep expecting to hear her run for the phone or see her playing in her bedroom or out on the swing. I'm so mixed up. One minute I'm afraid I can't remember her. And the next I don't even believe she's dead. <sighs> I see you put Nikki's drawings back on the fridge. <sighs> you should never have packed them. We didn't discuss that. So you sent me a little message in my briefcase. Weren't Nikki's drawings in my, in my briefcase? No, I didn't. Come on, Chris. Mark, I wouldn't do that. Well, then who did? I have no idea. It wasn't me. Chris, we can't rip this wound open again and again. Wounds need time to heal. How do you think Caitlin felt when she saw all Nikki's stuff packed away in boxes? You said yourself we have to move on. We do. We have to we have to turn the page. Turn the page? That's horrible. You know what I mean. No, I don't. You don't make any sense to me at all. Six weeks is time enough. Nikki is dead. We have to bury her. We don't have to bury every trace. We don't have to forget her. Chris, I can't afford to shut down. And I can't pretend she never existed. She was my baby. Part of me died with her. I can't move on, not yet.
Just one, sweetie. Katie, did you put something into my briefcase? You sure? Not one of Nikki's pictures? One like this? It wasn't me, Daddy. Maybe Nikki did it. You're awful tight today, Mark. Are you taking care of yourself? Yes, dear. What, you can't answer my question? Look, we gotta lighten up. I'm tired of people coming. What is it? That place. It's real. What do you mean, it's real? This is the same place, wouldn't you say? Looks like it. I found this in my briefcase last week. Nikki drew it. But I'm sure she's never seen this place before. She could have seen the photo in a school book or something. Or maybe she walked by here. But how did it get into my briefcase? It wasn't there before. You overlooked it? It wasn't there before, I'm sure of it. Well, somebody put it there. Mark? Mark? Yeah? Our meeting? The impact study, City Hall? All right. Put this away. After you. Katie, they're right near. I'm sorry. Come here. Come here. Come here, darling. Come here. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you have a bad dream? Yeah, sort of. About Nikki? No. Something else. I dreamed about Nikki. Well, we're both awake now, eh? Let's forget our dreams and go get something to eat. No, let her talk about it. Honey, what was your dream about? I dreamed Nikki was lost somewhere. Trying to go someplace. But she couldn't. She was sad. Katie, okay, now listen to me. Your dream was just a nightmare. Nikki is not lost. She's not afraid. She can't be hurt anymore. She's happy. And she wants us to be happy, too. All right? Let's go and have some breakfast. What did you think about her dream? She's got to get over that. How about you? What was your dream about? A lot of things. I'd give you a list, but I'm late for work. I want you to feel you can tell me things. Anything. Listen, Chris. We've all got to stop dwelling on this. It's not healthy. <laughs> what do you know about healthy? What 
has it? Who's that? I don't hear it again. You unpacked it, didn't you? What? The music box. Don't you hear it? That damn music box? Anyone want more coffee? This is so unlike Mark. He's just suffered a tragic loss. His little girl, a few weeks ago, she was killed in an accident. I'm so sorry to hear that. I didn't realize. Why don't we go ahead with the presentation? I think we should. Hi. I'm Mark Samuels. Let's get down to it, shall we? I know for a fact we've got the chairman support on this. Why should we do this project if we can't try something new? Look, we'll design the museum, you draw up the contracts, okay? Good. You might want to know Martin Gilchrist dropped our account. Oh, well, that's too bad. Maybe by some wild stroke of luck, we'll be able to find some other law firm willing to represent us. Why don't you let Len and me handle this one? Give me the ball. It could get away from us. Give me the ball, goddammit, and get the hell out of here. Mark, talk to somebody. <laughs> Mr. Waverly, your new consultant on the museum. When you pain in the butt, you mean? 
He asked me to fax him these sketches. Would that be okay? Still up? Couldn't sleep. How was your meeting? Oh, maddening as usual. Mark, I'm so worried about you. I'm okay. What was this doing in the garbage? I, uh, I dropped it. It was an accident. I don't believe you. No, you're right. It was bothering me. What do you mean it was bothering you? Just that. Mark, I talked to that therapist today, Dr. Blake. He's got some time next week. I could go with you. We don't need a psychiatrist around here. We need a saw down. Come on, Mark. Burning up. I'm gonna get her something for the fever. Don't cover her up. I saw Nikki. Mommy's gonna get you some medicine. You're gonna be fine. She's still here. It's just a bad dream, sweetheart. That's all. No, Daddy, she did go to heaven. She's still here. It was just a dream. Calm down, Caitlin. Calm down. Leave her alone. Come with me. She was getting out of control. She's out of control. Look at her. She's afraid of you. Don't you ever learn anything? What are you talking about? Nikki. I'm talking about Nikki. Do you know what her last words were? Why doesn't Daddy love me? Of course I love Nikki. I love Caitlin. How would you know that? Would you act like this? I think we need some time apart. Shannon, this is Mark. I'm not coming in today. I'm just taking an early weekend. I I'll call you Monday. Bye. I wouldn't go any further if I were you. Oh, Not in those shoes. <laughs> that comet. Howdy. Hi. Can I help you? I was looking for the, the Whitehall area. Well, you're there. <laughs> uh, 
Is by any chance this house around here? No, I don't know that house. Uh-uh. I don't know it. That's Miss Florence's place. Oh, I doubt it. Ma, it, it is. Look at the gazebo. You looking for that place? Yeah. Could you give me some directions? It's it's just a mile or so as the crow flies, but it's tricky to find. If you just keep on the road you came in on, and you make the first left, after that it's like the third or fourth, or maybe it's the fifth dirt road down. No, no, no that's not right. Yes, it is. Well, you tell him the way then. There's an awful lot of back roads through there. I ought to show you. You could. I'm out here. Oh, I'm sorry to bother you. I'm here because of your house, actually. It's very interesting. You see, I'm an architect. There's a striking, uh, Resemblance. Uh, yes. To? A uh, drawing. By one of your colleagues? No, by one of my daughters. Oh. How lovely. I wish I could see it. She with you? No, no. She's there. How did you know that? Why, you just told me. Step here. Oh, bother, Mr. Samuels. I know my home inside and out. There's a chair for you. Thank you. How old was she? Nikki was 11. And the other one? Caitlin is seven. Seven and a half. 
You know how children are. She must miss her sister very much. We all do. And I'm sure she misses all of you. Do you think that's possible? Possible. When I lost my sight, I was just a child. What did I know what was possible without seeing? I thought my life had ended. When, in fact, it had begun. It is past three o'clock, Miss Florence. Oh, so soon. Yes, ma'am. Oh, please excuse me, Mr. Samuel. My keeper calls. Madden, this is Mr. Samuels. He's an architect and a father. How do you do, sir? Miss Latimer. Call me Florence, dear. Everyone calls me that, even when they think I'm a bit strange. I wonder if we could talk again. Of course, we shall. Tomorrow. Tea is at four. You're staying over, aren't you? At the bed and breakfast. Uh, did I mention that? No. But your shoes proclaimed it. Rather clearly. <laughs> I look forward to our next talk. Madden? Sir? Who's that? There. The girl in the window. Girl, sir? Hello? It's me. Want to talk? Only if you do. So where are you? I'm at a little hotel in the country. Do you know anybody out there? No, I'm just, just looking around. For what? Look, I just thought I'd check in, uh, see if Kaylin was okay. She's fine. I'm sorry if I scared her. You know kids, they get over things so quickly. Not like us.
So when are you coming back? In a day or two. If that's okay. We'll manage. I'll see you then. Drive carefully. Penny for the thoughts in that pretty little head. Are you and Daddy going to get divorced? Of course not. Caitlin, whatever gave you that idea? You were yelling at each other, and then Daddy went away. My friend at school said that her mommy and Daddy were yelling at each other, and then her Daddy went away, and then they got divorced. Of. A lot of people who love each other get mad once in a while. They even yell at one another. You know, even you and... Nikki? Yeah, even you and Nikki did. But when a mommy and daddy do that, it doesn't always mean they're going to get... It doesn't always mean they won't stay married. But sometimes it does. Yeah, sometimes. But don't you worry. I still love your daddy, and he still loves me. And we're still a family, aren't we? That's unusual. <laughs> You'll find some surprises in there. My dad, he put this thing together out of maybe three or four old bikes. Well, I see what he did here, and it's pretty clever. Dad sure knew his way around an engine. That's for damn sure. He was going to try to get me a new one, you know, but... So this bike is pretty special to you, eh? Going to keep her humming, too. I owe that much to my dad. Excuse me. It's all right. It's only natural. You miss him. I thought it'd be over by now. I know what you mean. I lost my daughter. She died? I don't think I'll ever get over it. So that's why you're going to see Miss Florence. Sorry. I don't understand. What do you mean? No, I, I didn't mean to. I'm really sorry. Listen, if you want to do me a favor, tell me about Miss Lawrence. Well, she's pretty much a legend around here. She's been blind since she was a kid. Fell down a flight of stairs. They say she was in a coma for like a year, maybe even two. When she woke up, she had the second sight. Right away, she started telling people things that was going to happen. Fires, drownings, weddings. It must have been terrifying, the little five-year-old, prophesying like that, right on the money. Who are those kids out there? I mean, unless she run a daycare, who'd leave the children with her? Kids? Most people don't see those kids. What do you mean? I don't understand. It's only when you got business with them that you see them. Business?
Did you sleep well, Mr. Samuels? Oh, please call me Mark. Yes, I slept reasonably well. <laughs> I never thought of sleep and reason having very much in common. Compared to uh, how I've been sleeping, I mean. Um, Thank you, ma'am. My favorite time has always been those moments between sleep and wakefulness. That magic time of drifting. In and out. Visions and sounds. It's really our third existence. No, fourth. Including death. You think death is an existence? Mm -hmm. Very much so. Do you have children here, Miss Lawrence? I mean, uh, on the... Do children come here on school trips or scout outings or anything? Oh, no. No, nothing like that. We have a very private existence. I saw a couple of children as I drove in today, and yesterday I saw a young girl in the window upstairs. Is she a cousin or a neighbor? You saw children? Yes. Uh, very briefly, but yes. Oh, so soon. You are very aware. Oh, I'm so pleased for you. What's so special about seeing children in the woods? They're very special children. You see, I never married. I never bore any children. But when this house became mine, I, I wanted to so much. I pretended, I pretended I had a family. <laughs> well, <clears throat> I felt quite silly at times, but I kept it up, putting toys in the rooms, palm balloons, <laughs> making a swing, and then. I came. <laughs> they, they felt this was a refuge, a haven. But at first, I, I could only feel them. The slight warmth, and the tiny tingle. And then, Very softly. Get some rest now. Mm, you get some rest too. It, it's very hard for you since Nikki left. There's a tension in your voice, perhaps fear. No, no, I just need to get back to work. Goodbye. Oh, I'm afraid you're leaving with more questions in your head than when you came. Next time, don't hold them back. Life is too short for holding back.
Hello? Hello? <laughs> Who's there? going on? This is a game? Come on, kids. What's going on? Who are you? What do you want? Mr. Samuels? You're quite welcome to stay the night, sir. I'll call for a tow as soon as the garage opens. Who are those children, Madden? Sir? Come on, Madden. What's going on around here? Who's that girl in the woods? I don't know of any girl in the woods, sir. You do, goddammit. I want answers. Are you quite all right, sir? Shall I call the doctor? I want to talk to Florence. She cannot be disturbed. I'll inform her as soon as she arises. Will you do that? Yes, sir. I saw over a dozen children out there last night and more this morning at dawn. 
Who are they? What do they want? Her lost souls. Little ones. Tied to the earth. They want to leave, but they can't. They can only leave on the tears of those who loved them. The tears of those who are living. You're trying to tell me that those children are dead? They're souls. Spirits in transit. Miss Florence, I'm not a child. I don't believe in ghosts. Now, just, I want some answers. Just tell me, who, who, who is that girl in white, for example? What did you want? Of all the lost souls, she is the most lost. She has been waiting, waiting for too long, and she's turned. She's become bitter, jealous. Well, what does she want with me? Perhaps she's afraid. Afraid that you're going to take Nikki away. Nikki? My daughter? Nikki, here? I can't believe that. You can't. Or you won't. My daughter's dead. That's all I know. She's not a ghost dressed in some Halloween outfit. Running around for a crazy old woman! And why have you come here? Did the zoning resolution pass? We squeaked through. It was a little hairy, but... Shannon, finance, how do we stand? Nothing you can't handle by mortgaging your house. I thought that might get your attention. What the hell happened to you? Car got stuck. Why don't you just go home? Too much to do. We found out something very interesting while you were away. What's that? The place does not collapse if you're gone a day or two. No. It's just the rest of the world that's collapsing. Well, everything by itself doesn't seem like much, but at least not now, but at the time, you know, first the, the drawing and then the photograph and then Caitlin's dreams. Just all added up. I had to find the place. Why didn't you tell me? I don't know. I should have. I know that now. I'm stupid. It wasn't stupid. It was for Nikki. You were remembering her. So, was it the same house Nikki drew? Maybe she copied it from a picture. If it's a vintage antebellum house, it's probably in a lot of books. Yeah. Does anybody live there? A blind lady. Florence. She's the last of the family line, I guess. And there's some children there. They're just children playing in the ground. That's all. Must be the only people south of the Mason Dixon with a fire going tonight. <laughs> yeah, I felt a chill. I just thought, you know. It's all right. Makes me feel safe. Mark, you told me everything, right? I'm not losing it, Chris. Really. I'll be okay. I love you. And Caitlin. So much, I just. After I told you what Nikki said, oh, Mark, I know how much you loved her. I can't bring her back. No one's asking you to. I'm so sorry for what I said. I was upset. Shh. And... Sky. 
why it's so blue today? Because. 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 And why is the water so wet today? Because. 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 Why is Bummy so pretty today? Because. 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 And why is Daddy so silly today? Because. 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 Barkers. Who, me? No. Everything's under control. Honest. Hey, kiddo. What are you doing? Try. I see. Why are you drawing an owl? I don't know. I'm starved, honey. When's dinner? Just a few minutes. Open the wine. What's that, pigeon? Shut the windows. What? Shut the windows. It's an owl. An owl? What's wrong with an owl? Just stay inside. I want to see the owl. It's out here someplace. Get back in the house. I want to see it. I told you to stay inside. Whatever it was, it's gone now. Come back in. I'm going to go check on Kate. Don't move. She looked like an owl. Caitlin's only seven years old. She doesn't understand death. She can't understand we'll never see Nikki again. Do you believe that? Are you sure? We 
have to be. I wish I could be so certain. But after tonight, I, I don't know. Mark, for God's sake, help me make some sense of this. When I went to Latimer Grove, when I met Miss Florence, I saw the same girl that Caitlin saw here tonight. But that wasn't a real girl. She was a nightmare. Then how do you explain Caitlin and I seeing the same girl? I don't know. How did she get here? There were a lot of children there. Miss Florence called them lost souls. told me that Nikki was there. You believe her? I hoped. I've always wanted to see her again. Just a glimpse. Her smile. But... I know that, but I, I can't let Miss Florence frighten Caitlin like this. I can't let her reach into our home. You actually want to go back there, don't you? I can't let her destroy our family. And Caitlin and I are going with you. We are still a family. We've got to stick together. Hello. Good morning. I, uh, I brought my family. Oh, oh, what for heaven's sake. I was just thinking about you all. How so? Well, I wanted to meet the ones who can help you more than I can. Well, this is my wife, Chris. How are you, Chris? How nice to meet you. And this is my daughter, Caitlin. Caitlin, this is Miss Latimer. Call me Florence, dear. Won't you come and sit a spell? Well, Caitlin, now let me guess how tall you are. You like guessing games? Yes, I do. Well, I bet you're as tall as the bird bath there. No. Well, I meant with a big blue jay on it. Yes. <laughs> what about an owl? A big white owl. You saw her again? She came to our house. She tried to get Caitlin to join Nikki. How terrible for you. Yes, it was. And we have to stop it from happening again. Is that why you've come to see me? Yes. Is Nikki in your house? Well... I'm not sure, Caitlin. Let's go and see. Can you hear something, dear? It sounds 
sounds like birds. Is it the owl? No. It sounds like ducks or geese, maybe. Come here. This was Daddy's favorite room. He loved the marshlands. He painted these tiles himself. They are all laughing. They? The children in the attic. Stop suggesting things. <laughs> We're giving her these ideas. She's not... <laughs> things in heaven and earth than the dreamed of. I, I want to protect Caitlin from all of this. But you can, not the way you want to. Everything we have, everything that's dear to us is on loan. And we should treasure it as if we could lose it tomorrow. That's the best you can give to Caitlin. Oh, I don't know. In best that you can do for Nikki is to let her go. You are exhausted. Admit it. Come on. We all need to get sleep. We'll get an early start in the morning. I've got to go back there. What about us? What about your family? I'll go alone. You'll have the car, and what am I supposed to do? I'll walk. Past midnight. The mansion's more than a mile away.
Caitlin! Caitlin! There's no pulse! Caitlin! You do the test. Caitlin! Caitlin! Oh, thank God! Oh, thank God! Stay away from her, Mark. Stay away. Chris! I can't let you hurt her anymore. Chris! Chris! Thank you. Are you sure I cannot call my physician? We've done enough already. She'll be fine. Just gotta get her home. Where's Mom? He's still out there searching for something. Chris, he's searching because he has to. Nikki knew you loved her. You've nothing to make up to her for. He loved her too. Really, he did. He just couldn't let go and show it. He had to be so strong. How strange a weakness for him to hide his love from his own child.
Daddy. Where have you come from? I don't know. I just know, somehow, that you've been trying to find me. Yes, I have. What do you want? I want you to stay. I want to turn that clock. I want to change everything that happened on that awful night. Clocks don't go backwards. I've been trying everything to be a, a better father. I see now how so much of what I did was wrong. I want to say I'm sorry, but I can't forgive myself. I can. That night was only one night for my whole life. There were so many others. So many good ones. I remember I used to fall asleep in the car. And you carry me up to the house and up the stairs and onto my bed, trying so hard not to wake me. I remember the sheets, clean and cold. And when you and Mommy kissed me goodnight, I was halfway between sleep and awake, like I am now. It was the best feeling. Best feeling in the whole world. But this is different, isn't it, Daddy? I'm dead. <laughs> Love you, Daddy. I'll be happy I go. Oh, Nicky. I love you, Nicky. I'd give anything to have you back. Let me go. Let me go and give yourself to Mom and Caitlin. She wouldn't let me go any further without you. She's such a stubborn kid. I wonder where she gets it from. I have no idea. Look, Daddy has Nikki's ribbon. Because, because...
Let's go home.